guys, welcome to my new video about the clonal raider ants, a colony that I caught in the forest. Uh, I also want to show you guys the enclosure I built for them. Uh, I dug up this soil also from the same location and I transferred them a, li a little bit forcefully, but uh, it had to be like this. This species is amazing, it's one of the most uh, studied species in the world because of their size and their uh, the way that they reproduce, but we will see about this later on. Day two. So the next day, they were all inside, they brought all the brood, great news, and uh, I let them settle for another day, and soon after, I fed them. So let's move on to it. This ant species is called Ocera yebiroi, uh, previously known as Serapakis biroi. Uh, they are known to like to raid other ant nests uh, for their brood, um, hence the the name Raider Ants. Um, in this case I didn't have any available brood I could provide to them, so I had to improvise and feed them this pinhead cricket. I uh, was very very happy that they actually accepted it and um, and consumed the whole cricket. Uh, this is the first stage of their feeding. Uh, later on, they would bring the larvae out, out and deposit on the top of the cricket uh, so that the, the larvae could feed on the, on the meat. I don't know if they, if they are cutting the cricket up or if they are actually consuming it themselves. This is something I'll have to check later. Now I want to talk about the characteristics of this species. They are a very small ant species, about 2 mm long, but relatively stocky, heavily armed and with short and thick antennae. They, are, they have also small colonies, typically consisting of a few hundred workers. They are known to be a cryptic species, which means that they like to nest on the soil, underneath the leaf litter, uh, stones or rotten logs. They are distributed in Asia and they can be specifically found in India, Nepal, Taiwan, Philippines, Malaysia, Singapore, Vietnam and China. They're commonly known as clonal raider ants and I want to uh, explain to you guys the, the reason behind the name. So this is one of the few ant species that is capable of reproducing by parthenogenesis, which means that the ants reproduce asexually without fertilization. There are no males in this species, so only two castes, the ergotoid queens and the workers. All ants are genetically similar. Also, all ants are capable of reproducing, which means that there is no sterile caste in this species. The egg-laying task is distributed among all nestmates, but in different ratios, depending on being a queen or a worker. Species of ants belong to the Dorylinae subfamily, the subfamily that also holds the army ants and other ant rider species. Uh, they actively raid other ant nests for preying on their brood. The colony dispatches a group of foragers to detect and overwhelm other ant nests by catching them off guard. Their carapace helps them by protecting against the injury when raiding the nests of other ants. Uh, their reproductive cycle has two phases, a nomadic phase and a stationary phase. The nomadic phase lasts 18 days and the older workers explore their surroundings, raiding the other nests, and back in the nest all the larvae, larvae are developing in sync, uh, cared by the younger workers and the ergotoid queens. The other phase, the stationary phase, which lasts another 18 days, uh, is character characterized by the, the pupating of all the larvae. Uh, New eggs are also being laid by the queens and workers. Uh, during this phase, the whole colony remains on the nest. There is no foraging. The cycle restarts again uh, with a nomadic phase. The reason why this ant species is so interesting is that they could be potentially immortal. But as we know, uh, there is always balance in life. Uh, avoiding producing males may allow to reduce the production cost and increase the reproductive potential of the colony for each new worker that emerges. But the lack, but the lack of different uh, genetic material may potentially drive the species toward extinction 
due to disease, virus or bacteria. So as I said before, this is probably one of the most studied ant species in the world. Uh, there have been other studies with uh, other army ants. Uh, they have been extensively researched in the field, but because of the, the size of their huge colonies, it's uh, very difficult to manipula manipulate them in laboratory. OB Roy, on the other hand, is uh, the perfect uh, subject for the laboratory conditions. Um, I am no scientist, uh, so my only goal this time is to uh, increase the colony and try to split it and propagate it later on into multiple colonies. So this concludes today's video. I hope you guys liked it and uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, hope to see you on the next video. Thank you.